Hello and welcome to another one of my videos. This time I'm going to be showing you how you can make an animated Simpson of yourself. Alright, so first of all you want to go to the website simpsonizeme.com, the link is in the description. Then you want to choose Simpsonize Yourself. And uh, now you need to upload a photo of yourself, it needs to be a full on uh, headshot. Like you can't have a black and white or a side on or a dark photo, you need uh, one like the Burger King King. Um, so yeah, then you choose upload photo and then you choose your picture. I can't say loading. Uh, if it actually does your picture, like if it actually bases the character on your picture or if it just does it randomly, I'm not entirely sure because as you can see here, you've got to choose all the settings. Uh, so I'm a dude. I'm currently 18. If I can find 18. <laughs> Where's it gone? There we go. And uh, then you want to choose your race. I'm going to choose standard human. No, sorry, standard Simpson even. And uh, casual clothing. I have no facial hair. And I have short straight hair. And so I just misclicked that for a second there. And that's counting down to the amount of time it takes uh, for your photo to upload. And once it's done, you can click on Simpsonize Me, and uh, this banner will come up. Just telling you about the Simpsons movie, which has obviously been out for quite a long time. And uh, there's a photo of me, please don't laugh. Then click on Simpsonize. And there you go, it creates a Simpsonized version of you. And um, then you'll be presented with a screen like this. Right, so now that's sort of like step one done. Um, the easiest way to animate a Simpsonized character is to have it with a closed mouth. So if on face you go to mouth, and then you want to find one where he has a closed mouth. Um, I will choose... No, I won't choose that one actually. <laughs> I'll choose that one, that one's okay. And um, yeah, you can customize pretty much everything you want. I'm gonna flip the image over because I'd prefer it to be facing that way. And then once you've you once you've chosen everything you're happy with, and I'll just move them down a little bit, uh, you need to choose export from the send and save menu, and then you'll be given these two options to download as an image or buddy icon. Uh, if you click on download as an image this will come up and you should be presented with a dialog box asking you where you want to save it, however that's never actually happened for me. Uh, so if that doesn't happen don't worry just press print screen. I also you can change the background, you can have him as like a Simpson area background and so forth. Um, let's see, you press print screen which you're happy with it to start all programs, accessories, paint, and then you want to paste into paint either with Control V or edit paste. Then click on this uh, square box tool up here and highlight uh, the bit you want to copy. In this case, it's the head plus surrounding area. So I'll cut that. Get file new. No, you do not wish to save. Edit paste. And there you have it, now you have sort of like a headshot of yourself. If you just file, save as, you need to give it a name, I'm going to save it as me9, and save. Now you want to open up a program called Crazy Talk. So, so if you open up Crazy Talk, and then go to Model, that's just one I've done earlier, ignore that. And uh, then once you're in Model, choose this picture here. And if it asks you, you'd probably want to say yes, I'm choosing no. Uh, then go along to the image of yourself, the Simpsonized image that is. And uh, click this button here where it's got the face with four dots. And you'll be brought up with this and now you need to align these numbers to the points of the eyes and mouth. And now with a Simpsonized character, having the eyes moving doesn't work too well, so the settings I'm going to be using and showing you uh, the settings aren't, they basically don't really move the eyes and uh, as you can see that looks alright but it's a bit distorted and the dots are a little bit out of place, so if I move 4 out a bit more 
and three up a little bit. I try now, and whoa, that's really distorted. I basically want to get it so sort of like the mouth is where the mouth should be, like that. That is very good. I'm very pleased with that. Um, I know it just sort of looks like I'm a fish, uh, but don't worry. <laughs> And then you want to choose script and record, which is this red dot here. And uh, I'm just going to choose no. And then you'll be brought with this and you'll be asked to choose your microphone. Uh, you've only got one, which is that. You want to choose record. Uh, so I'm just going to record a quick message here. Hello YouTube, uh, this is just a quick test to make sure that my Simpsonized character of myself is working and uh, you'll be watching this at the end of the video uh, where I appear to be a Simpson who is talking. You can choose stop and OK and then if you press the play button uh, then I know you can't hear it but I can hear it. Uh, it's me talking with the audio and then if I press stop and go to output uh, now I need to save it, so I'm going to click on export. And you want to give it a name, so I'll give it me 10 and save. And now you need to choose the codec you want to uh, use to encode it. Uh, you can use pretty much any codec, they do have varying qualities. The one, if you don't have any extra codecs, the one you're probably going to want to use is the Microsoft MPEG 4 codec. V2. Uh, that's sort of like a standard one. As you can see, I've got loads of extras, and probably the best one that I use is uh, DivX codex. So I'm going to choose OK. And then you'll be presented with this box and cutting video stream. And then uh, this is basically just a standard loading thing. And um, so yeah, that is how you make a Simpsonized version of yourself. And then you can open the file that's created in a program such as Sony Vegas or whatever your program of choice may be and uh, edit it in any way you want. You can also put in a green screen behind you in paint. You just uh, put in a green background and then you can uh, have sort of like a video playing in the background with your face in the foreground or whatever. Uh, so yeah, thank you for watching.